Hello everyone, I'm Vinay and welcome back to AI Champ YouTube channel. In this video, we'll learn about confusion matrix and how we can calculate accuracy, recall or sensitivity, specificity and precision using confusion matrix. So let's get started. So what exactly is this confusion matrix? So as the name suggests, it is a matrix. So that means it is a two dimensional array or we can say that it is some sort of grid. So this generally is used in classification tasks. So suppose that in machine learning, we built a classifier. So there is a classifier and we have some images of some samples. And this classifier takes this image and tells that whether a person has cancer or not. So cancer, yes or no. And this is image. So this is a binary classification problem because we have two classes in this case. The first being cancer, yes. And second is cancer, no. But we have to understand that these are just the predictions from this classifier and these need not be true all the time. And we also need the actual ground truth. So there will be yes or no. So this is the ground truth or actual class of this particular image. So in confusion matrix, we use the actual or ground truth and these predictions from this classifier. So as to understand how good this classifier is performing and we can also calculate other evaluation metrics such as accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, precision and all those things. So how to draw a confusion matrix? For that, first we need to see what kind of classification we are working on. So in our case, the number of classes, let us call it as n is equals to two because we are predicting if the image has cancer cells or not. So yes or no, these are two classes. So to draw the confusion matrix, we need n sized square matrix. So in this case, n is equals to two. So that means that we need to draw two cross two grid. So there are two columns and two rows. Now in the one side of the confusion matrix, we need to write predicted values and uh, let us say in columns, we write actual values. So let us say that this is yes and this is no and this is yes and this is no. So these are classes and we write all the numbers in this case. For example, if the image is actual yes basically the ground truth of the image is yes and uh, model predict it as yes so that comes here so yes yes so this is called true positives these are called true negatives these are false negatives and these are false positives now how to remember all these things so this is very easy. There, there are two parts. So let us just write true, positive, true, negative, false, negative, and false, positive. So there are two parts. This is the first and this is second. So we just need to remember that the first part just tells us whether the prediction is correct or not. So if we have true, so that means that whatever the model has predicted, it is same as the actual or the ground truth. So true means model is correct and false means predictions are incorrect. So we understood that, okay, these true positives and negatives. So this, these are the correct predictions. So that means that whatever is written in this principal diagonal of the matrix that is correct so ideally we want that this true positive and true negative 
should contain very very large numbers as compared to false negative and false positive because false actually means that these are incorrect and true means that these are correct and the second part second part just tells that what the model has predicted so positive actually means that yes positive is yes negative is no so in this case we can see that actual it is correct prediction and true positive means that model has predicted positive or yes in this case so positive is yes and negative is no now for incorrect uh, values which contains false in first part it has second parts also so these are these are incorrect so negative means that the model has predicted it as negative so false negative model has predicted as negative so that means that the actual actual truth was the sample was positive why because model has predicted as negative but we also know that model is incorrect so if if it is not negative so that means that it is positive let us just draw one more uh, confusion matrix let us take numbers in this case so just randomly 72 89 4 and 7 so we know that these are actuals and these are predicted and uh, this is yes this is no this is yes this is no so we know that these numbers uh, on principal diagonal should be larger compared to the other elements so that is the case so so there are 7 plus 4 incorrects 7 plus 4 incorrects and 72 plus 89 corrects now so this is again we know that this is true positive this is true negative this is false negative and false positive so let us just write it here true positive is 72 true negative is 89 false positive is 4 and false negative is 7 now to calculate accuracy from this confusion matrix we can use this formula accuracy equals total corrects okay so total corrects are true positive plus true negative basically all the elements in principal diagonal and uh, in denominator we need to write all four things so it is true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative so in this case it is 72 plus 89 upon 72 plus 89 plus 4 plus 7 so this comes out to be 0.936 that is 93.6% and for error rate the simply 1 minus accuracy so it will be like 6.4% so now the formula to calculate recall or sensitivity is we just need to understand the definition so recall is true positive rate true positive rate so that means that out of out of all the positives that is ground truth how many are correctly classified as positives so correct positives are true positives so correct always means true first and positive so tp and it says all the positives so all the positive will all obviously contains the true positive so this is one part and also those which are actually positive but are incorrectly classified as negatives so that means incorrect is false and uh, so we need the positives here so that means we use false negative so why false negative because model has predicted as negative but the model is also wrong false means wrong and it has predicted as negative so if model is wrong by predicting it as negative so that means that it is actual positive now for specificity 
specificity is nothing but true negative rate so true negative rate means in numerator we we'll all obviously need true negatives and actual true negatives so that is true negatives plus false positives so why false positives again so false positives model has predicted as positive but we also know that model is incorrect so that means it is actually actual negative so this is very similar to sensitivity just that this is for true negative rate and sensitivity is for true positive rate so let us just write that function again specificity is true positive upon true positive plus false negatives let us now see precision so the definition of precision is out of all positives only predicted out of all the numbers that are predicted as positive how many were correct so numerator we know that is true positive and out of all the positives but that are predicted not the actual ones so this is true positives plus false positive because the model has predicted this as positives and this also as positives this doesn't matter uh, the actual truth doesn't matter in this denominator so let us just summarize the video once again so confusion matrix is nothing but 2d grid and uh, we need more numbers on principal diagonal generally used for classification and we can calculate metrics such as accuracy recall or sensitivity specificity precision and many more things so there are two parts uh, in each elements of confusion matrix so that is true true positives true negatives false positives false negatives so the first part this whole part tells if model is correct or not and second part tells predictions so these are correct and these are incorrect predictions and the formula for accuracy is true positive plus true negative upon true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative for recall it is true positive upon true positive plus false negative for since specificity it is true negative upon true negative plus false positive and for precision it is true positive upon true positive plus false positive okay so that is it for this video i hope that you have understood the confusion matrix and hopefully you will remember it for a long time thank you for watching and see you in the next one